hi, it's Christy. If you're new to my channel, you might want to check out my video called How to Make a Great Operation Christmas Child Shoe Box. You're going to find a link for it in the description below. It's a video that will really jumpstart your shoebox packing journey. So let's see what's in this box. It's for a girl, five to nine. On the top, I have my checkoff sheet, which is great for keeping organized to make sure you don't leave anything out. You can print off uh, this one for a girl five to, five to nine or uh, any of the other age groups um, or for a boy. You can do that all on blessingsinashoebox.com and uh, you can even customize it. You don't have to use our exact same list. So this one, well, it has a lot in here and it was hard to close, so I know you're gonna love it. Right here on top, you'll see is the backpack with hearts, it's purple, green, and her notebook is bright pink. I got those from Staples. They're real bendy. Um, I like that a lot of the school supplies are already on sale. So thank you to Staples for 25 cent wide ruled one subject notebooks in lots of pretty colors. Okay, I'm going to stick my list right here so I don't lose it and take out the backpack. It's a full size backpack. Uh, you can order these online. I think the link to them are also uh, in blessingsinashoebox.com. Blessingsinashoebox.com. I don't think I said that well. Okay, so this is her groovy girl right on top. She has her, oh, superhero cape on and her crown. That's removable. She has lovely pink hair that could be braided. And, oh, I put a, a bracelet for her on her groovy girl arm. So it'll be interesting to see, to know how long it will take her to discover it um, special for her. So she's nice and uh, small to fit into a box and it's perfect for this age group five to nine. So I have this bigger um, uh, pencil sharpener with a lid um, and I just wanted to use it so I can stuff some extra things in. And it's also nice to have the lid so the shavings will go inside of it. I have some mini animals in there. This is a little giraffe. Let's see what else. Tiger. Just fun for her to play with. I'm trying to put it at the best place for the camera. And then, oh, I'm not sure what this is. Um, a meerkat, maybe? So if you know, tell me. That's got kind of a raccoon tail. And then she has some hair ties and a bright green ribbon that she can use for her hair or whatever she wants. It's a satin ribbon. And then this is a two pairs of underwear, size eight for her. And here's her glue stick and her big eraser. And I have oh um, a mustache whistle in here. And this is her soap and a soap saver. It's a really soft material that's um, made out of washcloths, the washcloths that, that Michelle was able to find on Amazon and then sew them to make the soap is in a baggie inside. And she put this little handle on and then it can it dries fast um, after you use it. It has, I have Dove, Dove soap inside there. Here's her brush. This is, I have been waiting to use these brushes. They're so cool. They have a mirror inside and the bristles stick up. It's great for a girl this age. And, um, you know, I love the idea that she's going to be able to see herself in the mirror because a lot of girls have never even seen what they look like. So here's a, a mirror and a brush for her that folds together. Here's her plush. And you are not going to believe this. Have you ever seen this before, this plush? Well, in the back, here's the directions. I love, that's why the tag is hanging. And on the back, there's a zipper. And this, I wanna show you what it does. It's a very pretty color. There's something inside. It's a pretty coral color. And it unfolds and the plush turns inside out. This is called Cub Coats is the name of this 
company that makes these. And it ends up with having a t-shirt with a pocket. And you can just zip it right up. And no one will know you have a secret pocket. <laughs> and it's just so unusual. I found this on sale, on clearance, at Home Goods. It's a size uh, 9-10. And it's pretty, and I just thought it would be unusual. It's a plush along with a shirt, all in one. So let me know what you think of that in the comments below. But I think it's pretty cool. They also have um, in a zip up like hoodies too. But the, I thought that was pretty and would be fun to include in a shoebox. Here's her calculator. It's a solar calculator. And uh, of course I picked gold so that it would match the groovy girl. I wish it was just a really, um, uh, I know somebody should invent a rack for shoebox unpacking, unpacking and then the items can be just laid out so perfectly. This is um, lip balm that's a cherry flavor. It's all sealed so you don't have to worry about it melting. This is a scratch note pad. Have you ever seen one of those? In the water bottle is the, uh, these are all just going to be black pages. And then they have a scratch tool that is able to write or draw pictures on there. I, I really every age enjoys those. Um, uh, just, just writing on there and having the color appear. Well, here's her water bottle. I love this color, you know, I do. And then inside are lots of goodies. Okay, so she has a pink Matchbox car. It has the Tokyo Olympics 2020 on it. Those were at, at um, Dollar Tree. That Those Olympics were canceled. So that was a fun discovery. I think it's um, interesting that it, what it, they had the cars made and then they had to cancel and so they sold the cars at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> she has a Super Bowl. And a lots of pencil top erasers. Some of them are animals. Let's see, this is a giraffe. And here's a velvet scrunchie. She can wear it either as a bracelet or in her hair, or that she could make it, put it on her doll somehow. This is a little craft kit with elastic on the top and lots of beads with a, kind of a big hole. Um, so she can put the elastic through to make necklaces or bracelets. This is a pencil sharpener. Um, I'm gonna put the pencil top erasers down here. She also has lots of pencils. Let's see, some of them are decorative. Let's see, butterfly and plaid. And this is, these are her yellow. Oh, here's a daisy with her yellow. They're all sharpened, ready to go for her for school. So she won't have to do them from scratch. Um, some of these I bought pre-sharpened. It's actually not that expensive to buy them pre-sharpened, but I found that out after I had already bought a lot that weren't sharpened. And then she has two black ink pens, a multi-pen. I got those for 50 cents each in bulk on Walmart or Amazon. Both of them have it. This is a nice uh, wooden spoon that she can use uh, every day. It could be her own special wooden spoon. A pink pair of scissors. Those are from Hobby Lobby. They're really nice. They come in a big pack like of 12 or something. These are two friendship bracelets, one for her and a friend, or she can wear two of them. They tie on. I love those. This is well, it's a pair of cute socks, which we know that girls like. And then inside uh, a pair of mirrored sunglasses for, um, these are Gap brand, and I didn't have a case, but I thought it would be fine to, to put in her socks, and I think sunglasses are a fun thing to get, so I was happy I was able to fit those in her water bottle. And then she has a purple bandana and a six inch wooden ruler. I'm going to try to move fast here. Here's the scratch-off stick for her 
scratch note activity. This is a permanent fine tip purple marker and her hygiene kit with the nail files and the nail clippers are at the bottom. Then here she has her flip-flops. I love these flip-flops. They're very sparkly and pretty. And they match the um, doll. Their size, I think it was four or five. Size four or five. I just took the tag off. So it doesn't say, but it was four or five. I think four. And then here's her, there's one thing of stickers and her pencil pouch. Uh, this is her foldable disc. That's fun to play with for every age. Here's an extra washcloth and I made it the color to match her plush um, shirt. Here's another bandana. It's also the color of the groovy girl and some colored pencils. I could have put those in the water bottle, but I wanted her to have a place to put them, so I kept them in the box this time. I, I do it both ways, but this time I wanted to keep it in the box. And her um, drawing paper. Michelle sent me some of these covers, God Loves You, and then, then on the back it says God Loves You in all, a lot of different languages. Um, I'm not going to count them, but a lot of languages, it says, um, God loves you, which is different than I love you. I like that it says, God loves you. So that brings us to the end of this box. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and give me a thumbs up. And I'd love to hear a comment about what your favorite thing to send for a five to nine year old girl is. This is not something that I make very often. But this particular doll and this shirt all came together and I just love how the box turned out. So thank you all for watching. God bless you and bye for now.